Hey guys, so welcome to my 9 and 10 pregnancy vlog. Um, I'm going to be doing two um, vlogs today, which I am now 11 weeks. So I'm going to do 9 and 10, and then I'll do 11, and then I'll be 12 weeks on Tuesday, the 15th, 16th, 17th of December. So I'll be almost, you know, caught up. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just ran downstairs. My curl and iron, I was curling my hair. I'm going to go meet Jackie for lunch. So excited. So it's my day off. Ugh, I'm out of breath. My curl and iron shot like this spark and this little piece of fire-ish thing out of the back of it and it scared the crap out of me. And when I was watching like Bones on my laptop while I was getting ready and my outlet wasn't like, I plugged in a different curl and iron and wasn't heating up. I was like, I don't remember this being broken last time I used it. And then my laptop wasn't charging. I was like, dang it. So then I switched it to another one and blah, 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 blah. That's here nor there. <laughs> so welcome to Pregnancy Vlog 9, oh, nine and 10. So this, um, I don't know when they're going to get really interesting. <laughs> so... So if you have questions that you want me to answer in like another pregnancy vlog, you know, just leave them as a comment or anything and then I can add them in because things really aren't any different. So I just want to start off with, uh, let's see, weeks 9 and 10, really nothing. Um, I have no symptoms. I haven't thrown up. Thank you, Jesus. I haven't really had morning sickness. I get um, just a little bit nauseous when I'm hungry. So I try to keep snacks with me at all times, and at work we can only eat during break time, like we can't eat at our desk. So I try to eat something at every break, whether I'm hungry or not, just because it's usually two to three hours before the next break, or before I get off. So, so I'm going to go over some cravings. Okay, so I don't write them down like as, like I have them in order, like I started writing them down from the first thing I had and then I'm just adding to the list. So I just need to add one zone here. Okay. So we started off with my first pregnancy craving was Coke. And I had so much Coke. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I had so much Coke while I was in within the four weeks training that we had within those first three weeks. I had a lot of Coke that probably I haven't had in like a year or two. Like and I literally do not drink sodas. We don't buy sodas. Um, I don't buy anything that's a waste of money. And sodas to me is a waste of money. So we drink water and milk. But, um, and if we go out to eat, I get, um, Chinese was the second on my list. <laughs> I get sweet tea. And I really don't make sweet tea. Just like I said, I think in my last one, that I'll drink the whole thing. So I just don't do it. Uh, so the second thing was Chinese. Uh, the next one was uh, hamburger. And that was when me and Jackie had our last lunch video, which was, five weeks ago. Uh, the third thing was McDonald's, which I talked about. Okay, so then this is the new one. And this is right before I announced it. Does anybody know what these are? Yes, they're pickles. A cliche to pregnancy. This is my second jar. No, I'm not the only one eating these. <laughs> Everybody in my house loves pickles, including Noah. So, um, they are just so good. Oh my gosh. Like, I want one right now, like, if it wasn't, like, there's all these little pickle things floating around, but if it wasn't rude to eat while you're doing a vlog, I'd do this, but, um, so this jar is, like, less than four dollars, so it was really nice, so, yep, and I'm a kosher dill type of person, I mean, what is your favorite type of pickle, because I think it's funny how different people like different things, okay, something that was hitting, um, that is kind of different, I did have like diarrhea like the first couple weeks not necessarily diarrhea but like my normal I guess bowel movement is like two to three days that's normal for me I go every two to three days so like a week or two after I got pregnant like I was going every day or every, twice a day and I think I was just cleaning my, my system was just getting cleaned out so I didn't have an issue like I was just gonna go to the bathroom no matter what I ate so then like these past two weeks, um, actually these pickles weren't le leaking. Uh, the past two weeks, I've had an issue with constipation. 
So we did a whole completely switcheroo. So, <laughs> which also, once I thought, I was like, I don't really want to take anything for constipation just because it's not like really bad. It's just, I don't want to go more than two days or three days. So, <laughs> which these now have turned into a craving, which are not good. Like you do not, <laughs> don't do these together. Like on a normal basis, if you go to the bathroom. So I thought I was like, I need some prunes. So I got some and they're so good. It's so bad that they make you poop because gosh, they're so good. Take a bowl of this and two of these and tell me in the morning if you didn't get to poop because oh my gosh, like <laughs> it was it's just amazing. Um but yeah, so I was craving these and I got these at the store and then I was thinking of something that I could have for breakfast really quick because I go to work so early right now. So I saw shredded wheat and oh my gosh, this stuff is so good. Yes, it is the frosted. Shoot me. Sorry. <laughs> but um this one is empty. I need to get another one. I ate the last little bit of it. It was like I swear it was like six little things of it. I'm so upset. So I need to get some more of these. So compare these together. And you'll have, I don't really want to talk about that anymore. <laughs> okay. And then also, Clementines. I do have major, major, major acid reflux. Well, I know that I'm going to get it no matter what. So I might as well just enjoy the things that are going to give me acid reflux, right? Including the pickles. So Clementine, oh my gosh, I just love them because they're so easy to peel. And then... You can just stick your finger in that little hole and pop it open and just eat it. So it's a really quick, quick, quick snack. And I just love my nose. It's just like really bad. So I love, 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 love these. <laughs> and so does everybody else in my house. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I'm just sticking to my, my water. I'm trying to drink as much water as I can. We can only go to the bathroom on our breaks. So I don't, I don't drink as much as I should at work probably. Just because I don't want to have to pee really bad and I have an hour and a half for my break because that just would suck. Um, so I usually catch up, you know, as soon as I get off of work, I drink as much as I can and then until I go to bed. And then like on the weekends or my days off, then I'll drink as much as I can just trying to catch up. Alright, so that was pretty much it for the cravings. Um, appointments, I did have my first doctor's appointment on December 3rd. Well, I say doctor because it's just a doctor. It's a doctor's, because you always say doctor, right? <laughs> so I have my first uh, midwife office appointment. I forgot that you don't see the midwife at first. They do like the ultrasound, the um, confirmation ultrasound, I guess. And then you meet with the RN there that they have. And she just goes over like all of your history and of your pregnancies and your health and your spouse and blah 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 so any concerns that you have and that's what we talked about the leap or the two leaps that I've had and if you don't know what a leap is I'll try to remember to link my leap videos down here below but a leap is just when you have um, precancerous cells in your cervix and then take a layer off of your cervix they had to do that twice for me and it was within a year so um, I could have a high chance of preterm labor labor um, as my cervix gets more pressure on it from the baby. So they're just going to closely monitor that. And the ultrasound tech told me, she's like, we might become best friends. That would be exciting. <laughs> but we did get an ultrasound. And I was so excited because truthfully, I was so worried. Like, you know, I, I was really worried. I didn't... I didn't have, I don't have any symptoms really. My boobs are just a little tender sometimes. They've gotten a little bit bigger, but that's pretty much it. I have like the craving stuff, but you know, like the normal tiredness that you feel and the morning sickness. And I mean, it was just like, I was starting to worry. And I was just like, I'm just afraid that they're going to tell me something and then I'm going to have to go in the next day and have a DNC. Like that was just how my mind was like going. And I was just afraid of how it was. But everything's great. So I'll show you these. This is our little little peanut. And the heart rate, let me see, was at I think she said 170. 171. So it was a great heartbeat. And she did a 3D. I'm trying to get that glare off of there. And you could see the ears and stuff in the actual screen and then here's the 
I think it's upside down. Does it really matter? I don't think so. But that's a little baby, and this was exactly 10 weeks because our, my weeks do change over on Tuesdays, so nothing will change. But uh, here she is measuring exactly 10 weeks. So everything goes great. I do go back next Friday. I'll be 12 weeks and something. 12 weeks, 3 days. Monday, Thursday, Friday, get 12 weeks and three days. I go back because I have to take an early um, glucose test because I am considered overweight. So, and that's fine. They just like to check to make sure, you know, that you're not, um, I guess, I, do they call it diabetic? I can't remember what they call it. I feel like it's been forever since I've been pregnant. But yeah, I just had a moment of panic. I didn't realize, I didn't know if I was recording. Anywho, okay, so I think that's it for this week. Uh, I'm not going to do a belly shot just because this is almost two to three weeks off. Um, and then week 11, you'll have the belly shot and they'll be all together. So you can just go over there really quickly and check that one out. So also check out the links below. I have the pregnancy announcement, the telling Jackie that I was pregnant, and then I'll put different some different videos that you can check out and there's also links below where you can follow me on Facebook Instagram and my email if you want to talk to me personally um, but I think that's it so I will see you guys next week bye guys